ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respect. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Shri Mahans, Mahans, Tanidhar, Kotari, visitors, viewers, sitting with us all over the world through Nityananda TV and Paschima Kailasa, Adi Kailasa. I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. subject for today webinar matter and antimatter around the world different researchers scientists who are working on cosmological principles physics and theoretical physics trying to understand universe the wonders of existence the level of principle philosophy science research in every dimension people who are working on big bang black hole theoretically and trying to understand on matter and antimatter i'll reveal some of the important most important revelations from parama shiva about the universe please understand few days before in the satsang i was telling time the speed of the light is not constant it is the super consciousness its reflection on the space only is constant listen even space is not constant be very clear actually the big bang and black hole is happening so intensely even the space is moving even the space is not constant understand also you need to understand the difference between static and constant even if something looks static that doesn't mean it is constant even if something is extremely vibrant and shakti maya energy maya does not mean it is constant here for all practical purposes the highest constant cosmic constant you can realize is the reflection of the super consciousness in the space when i use the word space para akasha maha akasha and chita akasha all the three is one and the same all three put together only i call it as a space the super consciousness reflecting on the space you experience as the dimension and the space which feels i i i in you the chita akasha the consciously where you feel as you your existence in that space and the whole space of mahakasha both spontaneously simultaneously reflects parama shiva the super consciousness what reflects here is called self what reflects here is called life for you that's all listen self the reflection of the ultimate super consciousness that reflection is cosmic constant nothing else is a constant not space or not something in time 
nothing else is a constant many people who are working to understand the secrets of the universe try to raise a doubt when there is so much matter generated during the big bang why so much anti matter is not generated the question is wrong please understand matter and anti matter is always in balance if any one gets imbalanced immediately the big bang or black hole has to happen to balance it understand overflowing matter overflowing anti matter need to be in samana for maintenance means sthiti please listen carefully from the influence of the anti matter matter manifesting is big bang from the influence of the matter anti matter manifesting is black hole if there is a sustenance life perception matter and anti matter is balanced enough an equal amount of anti matter also is produced when matter is produced anti matter means listen carefully paramashiva clearly defines all the thought currents emotions patterns which is there in all of us which is responsible for our functioning but which is not perceived as material is anti matter listen which is there in all of us patterns emotions thought currents feelings experiences which is responsible for our functioning our existence which matters for our existence but which is not perceived as material is anti matter enough quantity of anti matter also is released along with matter person who understands anti matter matters for life starts making the cognitions related to anti matter i tell you how much you avoid poison poisonous food toxics in your system that much you need to avoid toxic patterns and poisonous patterns but unfortunately you always recognize matter as existence and never recognize anti matter you don't give the due right to the anti matter in your life and fail land in accidents and collapse ignorance is not cute you claiming oh i don't know about anti matter i am too simple man simple beings are not successful ignorant beings are not successful it's only integrated beings are successful one of the biggest contribution of hinduism is making human being understand from the beginning there is enough anti matter in you equally to matter so how much you give importance to matter give importance to anti matter unfortunately we have been brushed aside with that stupid title of oh these are other worldly guys yes we have lost all the territory on the planet earth there is no there was no hindu nation but i tell you we have something great to teach to the world we have something great to contribute to the world we lost all the territories does not mean we have nothing to contribute to the world we have something to contribute to the world 
some of the great truths about the cosmos about the anti matter and lifestyle structured on the balance of the matter and anti matter is the lifestyle of sanatana hindu dharma people always brush hinduism aside in the name of oh failure guy once upon a time they had 56 countries and now they don't even have one territory for themselves and losers what is what is there to learn from them understand some of our principles were not brutal they were so life positive we were too life positive that does not mean we have nothing to contribute yes we might have lost the territory as i made the statement ignorance is not cute our ignorance about the violence of the human beings was not cute even in the war we were principled warrior we didn't know the enemies don't have any principles they were brutal we might have lost the territories but we have something great to contribute to the world in the field of consciousness if you cognize the higher reality about the anti matter your life will be a powerful manifestation of completion fulfillment higher form of existence understand the first powerful cognition you need to cognize whatever you perceive as matter existence of your life equivalent amount you need to perceive cognize the anti matter component of your life anti matter avyakta and manifest drives the matter anti matter is the energy source of the matter the avyakta manifest as vyakta an avyakta continues to be the driving force of the vyakta and manifest continues to remain as the driving force of the manifest if you are diabetic how seriously you avoid sugar and other food items which can trigger diabetes to the same level you need to avoid stress unfortunately the importance to the anti matter cognitions are less far less than the matter cognition in every level you can't be complete life negative in your thinking filled with fear and expect grand successes to follow you know fear need to be used like a pickle wherever required not more than that if you know how to use fear as pickle you know the realistic threats and unrealistic lies in the life can never cheat you life will never cheat you you will never be cheated in every level understand i am repeating ignorance is not cute yes the ignorance in the level of the political strategies our ancient kings had is not cute that is why we lost all the territories we had once upon a time 56 deshas on the planet earth almost all the population all the civilization was in the civilization and if you go to the small small kingdoms more than 150 the large kingdoms itself 56 today we don't have even one 
not a single hindu nation i think it is my responsibility to bring not just spiritual legitimacy and religious legitimacy and social legitimacy it's my purpose purpose of my life my happening is to bring spiritual social religious and political legitimacy to hinduism it's my vision to have at least one place where the vedas and agamas and manusmriti is practiced legitimately as the constitution and law of that land with the paramashiva's grace with the grace of paramashiva hope we will be successful yes our kings due to their ignorance they lost territories but that does not mean we have nothing to contribute surely hindu tradition has something huge to contribute especially for over mattered materialistic civilizations many of the problems the modern civilization suffering in all countries whether east or west all countries of the modern civilization the whole humanity is suffering in the modern civilization the materialistic too matter based materialistic civilizations problems almost all the problems of the modern day humanity all the problems of the modern civilization is because of the pure materialism based cognitions understand materialism has gone to extreme it's almost like a chronic capitalism materialism has gone to its extreme and make making people mad the only solution for the materialistic sufferings materialistic cognition sufferings is the pure truths of anti matter pure principles of anti matter hinduism brings the right balance between matter and anti matter constantly analyze the kind of the cognition you cherish the kind of the cognition drives you the cognition inspires you drives you matters understand today parliament of world religions has started in toronto nityananda hindu university has booth number 1229 we are representing sanatana hindu dharma and i request all the devotees disciples to gather volunteer and enrich all the seekers from all the world religions about the important contribution of sanatana hindu dharma i wanted to tell the parliament of world religions the biggest contribution of sanatana hindu dharma is the life very balanced between matter and anti matter cognition sanatana hindu dharma does not allow you to tip the balance it doesn't let you fall into the over exploitative nature of the materialistic civilization the modern civilizations biggest problem is too much of materialism and exploiting all the nature all the natural resources the balanced life and super conscious breakthrough is the real message of sanatana hindu dharma to the parliament of world religions hinduism as solution for all the problems modern day civilization is facing it is all because of too much of materialism 
matter based thought currents matter based cognitions not recognizing the importance of the anti matter which is the driving force of life all the paramashivoham participants the people who are preparing themselves for paramashivoham i request all of you to give importance to how you feel with your cognitions about life how your higher cognitions are important for your existence your higher cognitions are too important for your existence you need to understand give more and more importance to how you feel how you cognize your whole day your higher cognitions matter for the balanced life between matter and anti matter just like how you eat and work out to maintain your matter constantly feed yourself with the higher powerful cognitions through enlighten app download enlighten app become member of enlighten app whole day spending whenever you can spend time with enlighten app listening to the satsangs and incorporating powerful cognitions raising your anti matter to the higher cognition to the higher level of existence i tell you raise your anti matter inner space to the higher level of existence simply your outer existence will raise to the higher level if you try to raise by raising your matter level you will be failure raise the anti matter level cognitions you will be successful exactly rightly with the completion and fulfillment as you want and something more understand if you raise the status of the matter you will not be successful in raising the state of the anti matter if you raise the state of the anti matter you will be successful in raising the status of your matter every minute you spend with enlighten app you are directly talking to me you are in my presence you are in the satsanga whole life should be satsanga nitya satsanga let your life become eternal satsanga constantly whenever you can spend time with enlighten app it will enlighten you because the anti matter component of you needs to be fed continuously with powerful cognitions and i have delivered an half of powerful cognitions i have revealed an half of powerful cognitions it's all available now in the enlighten app it's getting added 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 and loaded spending time with enlighten app is the solution for a balanced life of matter and anti matter so everyone who is preparing themselves for paramashivoham experience my sincere request today join the enlighten app and whenever you find time even few minutes spend time with enlighten app just spend time with enlighten app that's all i am saying enlightening you is my responsibility so with this i bless you all let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching causing shuddhatvaita saivam parama shivoham the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful